Hi everybody, in this video we're going to go ahead and get our painting app started by setting up the user interface and we're going to get drawing on. So let's get started. So I created a new project here called Paint and it'll open up a blank screen. The first thing I want to think about is what my design might look like. And I want to have the label at the top saying what this app is. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with that. So I'm going to grab a label here and I'm going to call this Paint App. All right, and now what I really, I'm not too worried about where it's located because the canvas is gonna take up most of the space. So now what I need is some buttons so that the user can choose the different colors. Now I want these buttons to be in a row, so I'm gonna have to use a row component first. So I'm gonna go over here to layout row and I'm gonna just drag in a row component. Now notice to put it in the wrong spot. The easiest way to put components in the right spot is by adjusting it here in this section. So I'm just going to move this and now I have the label and then the row right below that. Now what I need are some buttons because these buttons are going to be the different color options. So I'm going to just find some buttons here and I'm just going to drag them in. And I just like dragging them all in first and then deciding what each one will do. So I'm going to call this one blue button. Let's say blue and call this blue button. Right, and then the next one I'm going to call it red and then red button and then the next one I'm going to call it let's go with a yellow I'm going to call it yellow and then we'll call it yellow button and then the last one I'm going to make black because that's kind of like the default color and I'm going to call this the black button alrighty so now that I've got my my buttons in a row, I want them to be collapsed. I don't want the row to take up the whole screen. So I'm gonna click on the row and I'm just gonna change its height property to fill fit contents. And there we go. The last thing that I need is my canvas component and I probably will need one more button. Let's go ahead and grab this canvas component first. And I'm gonna throw this canvas component in here and it put it in the wrong spot. So I'm just gonna grab the canvas component and try to get it below this row here and not connect to the row. Like that, did that do it? No. And sometimes it's easier if you collapse these. You can collapse these, yeah. And then now I can put it there. Perfect. So now I've got my canvas uh, canvas here. The last thing I need is I wanna wipe, be able to wipe the screen, you know, like clean the screen off. So I'm gonna add another button. I'm gonna call it wipe. I'm just gonna put it at the bottom right now if it'll let me there we go cool and i'm just going to call it wipe all right cool so now i've got the wipe button i got my canvas i got the paint app awesome so if i just hit preview or live test to test this you'll see this Cool, there's a little character on here and for this app we don't really want a sprite or any characters on our canvas because we're just gonna be drawing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over to the canvas component and you're gonna see there are these sprite types and sprites. I'm just gonna delete the sprite and I'm also gonna delete the sprite type. I don't need any of that for this app. Cool, so now if I preview it, it looks like this, cool. Not too bad. The last thing I wanna do is turn on touch drawing, which is actually really easy to do. If I go over here to my stage, I can go to the properties and just turn on the property for touch drawing, right? And the drawing color is defaulted at black. So if I go ahead and hit preview now, I can just start, start drawing in black. Cool, in the next video, we'll start coding these buttons. I'll see you there.